Right, the last race of the day on the flat on week 12 is the last race from Toronto is the Bronze Cup over two miles for uh, Norton 90 event for the lower rated horses uh, Canada John Morgan in the pink Kevin Minigan and Golden Gate Obi Wan those are the three horses uh, Canada in the pink were winners last time out Golden Gate was second last time out won his penultimate so all the horses in form and away they go yeah Toronto and quickly were Canada for uh, John Morgan from In the Pink on his inside, that's the green colours for Kevin Minigan and the yellow colours at the back of the field is Golden Gate for Obi-Wan. So the three horses separated by about two lengths as In the Pink leads for Kevin Minigan from on his outside Canada. Just behind these is Golden Gate, hard held in second, putting quite hard Golden Gate. Um, that's not going to help his chances for Obi-Wan and it's In the Pink who leads from Canada. He's just on the outside of hard putting Golden Gate as in the pink. Also putting hard in front in the pink and the only one who seems to have settled here is Canada. Both uh, in the pink and Golden Gate have been putting for the heads and now uh, the same thing happens to Canada. I think it's because there's not really a pacemaker in this field and they, they all don't really want to lead but in the pink the reluctant leader for Kevin Minigan from Canada in the black colours on the outside of Golden Gate as the three horses on the far side of the track, they still got over a circuit to go here as in the pink leads in the bronze cap from in second uh, Canada, Golden Gate just behind that and the three horses separated by you know, less than a length at the stage as in the pink so I draw clear again, about a length and a half clear of Canada Golden Gate just on that one's inside and the yellow colours for Obi-Wan they're all travelling ok now, not many are pulling it's in the pink who's now two lengths clear of Canada with Golden Gate on his inside as they start to turn for home on the first occasion let's go sort of over a circuit to travel just past the three furlong pole there and then the pink the leader from the yellow colors of Golden Gate in second on the third or third just behind is Canada for John Morgan as they come down the home stretch for the first occasion with in the pink now three lengths clear or probably four lengths clear of Golden Gate uh, just on the outside of Golden Gate is Canada and the three horses separated by about six lengths as they pass the stands and the big screen and about to head off on their final circuit with uh, about ten furlongs left to travel yeah in Toronto on this good to firm ground and now they're in Indian files in the pink as uh, stretched on by about four lengths from Golden Gate and Canada's dropped to the back of the field it's well back now Canada for John Morgan not sure if something's going to miss with Canada because in the pink is now four lengths clear of Golden Gate with Canada nowhere to be seen. In the pink for Kevin Minigan traveling strongly in front from in second Golden Gate. There's Canada about three lengths further back and about eight lengths off the leader but starting to close as in the pink still leads from Golden Gate in second. Canada still traveling well enough for John Morgan at the back of the field. Not sure what happened when he dropped so far back. But there was a bit of an injection in pace and maybe got a bit out of pace as in the pink still leads for Kevin Medigan. Less than a mile to go, yeah. They passed the seven furlong pole. It's in the pink, about five minutes clear of Golden Gate. Canada now moves up on that one's outside and starting to close on this leader in the pink. So in the pink still in front for Kevin Medigan. From John Morgan's Canada in those black colours. On the inside of that, the yellow colours is Golden Gate for Obi-Wan. But Kevin Minigan's in the pink is still a comfortable leader from in second Canada for John Morgan. Then comes Golden Gate now being pushed along for Obi-Wan. In the pink, still travelling well, but closing up on the leader is Canada. And Canada looks a big threat for John Morgan. Now pushed along in the front to try and maintain his position is in the pink. Uh, in second is Canada. Golden Gate has been pushed along to try and improve. Is about four lengths first to last year. It's still in the pink. It has the advantage. But Golden Gate is travelling obviously well in second. In, in Canada is travelling obviously well in second. Golden Gate has been pushed along in third. It's in the pink. It's kicked from the front here with two and a half furlongs to go. It's in the pink for Kevin Minigan. No move yet from Canada. Then comes Golden Gate for Obi-Wan, it's in the pink in front from Golden Gate and, and um, Canada, in the pink with a foot and a half to go, yeah comes Canada Golden Gate on his outside it's still in the pink in front, Canada is trying to close the ground, in the pink in front, Canada is finishing strongly in the pink, still rolling in front Canada is trying to get to in the pink in the pink from Canada, Golden Gate has no answer to in the pink in Canada it's still in the pink, Canada has been given a shocking ride, as in the pink wins it from Canada, then came Golden 
can get back in third. No idea what the jockey was thinking on Canada. Absolutely no idea. In the pink set sail for whom the jockey sat still on Canada for about with only about a foot and a half left to go. He decides about time he tries to close on the leader, and obviously he couldn't do it. Uh, third was uh, Golden Gate by Obi One. So in the pink wins for Kevin Meadigan. The Bronze Cup goes to uh, in the pink. Canada second, John Morgan, Golden Gate third, Obi One.